Hello traders, it's Nikos here from Spartan Trader FX. I hope you're all well. I just want to give you a quick uh, overview. Some pairs uh, start to move uh, yesterday and today. So uh, we have a little bit of action hopefully on Monday. Now don't forget that next week is NFP non-farm payroll day on Friday. And um, you should focus on trading in the direction of the main trends. Okay, not against it for now and uh, um, don't forget to wait also for friday's nfp and if you like to trade this day wait for the news to be released and then look for trades again okay because this can shake the markets uh many pairs at least um <clears throat> a lot during um, the announcement okay so like always the euro us dollar weekly chart i make it really quick you see we had the bounce on the weekly chart on our support line since then the price moved up since last nfp news release it's just moving up and up uh it it uh, moved about 400 pips okay now uh, as you can see on the daily chart we had a retracing back to the 36 we had a small trend line break because the price was sliding on the 12 ema price stopped at the 36 okay we had a chance of the break here and of a bigger retracement uh, and we waited for setups below here to tackle the support line so that didn't happen uh, and if you check the four hourly chart you see the price bounced on the 200 ema it was about to uh, it retraced and we waited for something uh, like a bounce so we could look for aggressive shorts against the main trend but we also also mentioned that in our live trading room that uh, if the price breaks the 36 quickly we are not interested in any shorts only intraday and scalping longs because the main trend is long don't forget that most traders uh, forget to look at higher time frames which are really showing you what's going on most people don't do that right most traders just focus on lower time frames and this is the trap you never know what's really going on if you don't add weekly and daily charts uh, to your analysis okay so right now only longs on the four hourly chart we had this breakouts on the one hourly chart you can see uh, after the trend line break here what we got was actually a higher low price stopped at the 36 and gave us a one hourly long entry which was very very powerful with a small stop of 20 pips just an example price moved up already 110 pips that means we have a win-win scenario here it's a winning trade um, and if you know the rules you know that you can't lose anymore you just target with the remaining position uh, now the highest points we have resistance up here at 130 um, eight, uh, sorry 138.80 and of course a false breakout here the price never really moved higher so that is your resistance area and that's where the price is sitting right now now we have seven like 5 p.m or 5 30 i would say in london which means uh we could see still a couple of hours of volatility but now it's friday so we also might you know um stop trading now that would be the best uh, thing for this week and look for next for the next setups four hourly one hourly setups on monday again okay now if you're already long you know the targets please target the 140 area for now the euro US dollar still looks very very long and uh, no reason to get, trade against the main trend okay um now I can't cover all the charts we're looking at, but I will do it quickly. You have the same scenario on the USD CHF. Price broke the previous lows. So from now on, you can start looking for shorts again, the same analysis and trying to target the lows down here. Zero AM 85, for instance, 86 for now, but wait for new setups, of course, right? Um, this is not, uh, the USDCHF is not right the best pair to trade right now compared to others because we have much nicer setups and on other pairs okay here the cable again we expect a retracement to here in the bounce or here to, uh, or to down here to our support line and bounce it didn't happen we had the range here okay so that's why we have our rules we have to wait 
if we don't get a signal we don't trade now we had the breakouts uh, and the price moved up in the main direction is just still long look at the weekly charts that's why we focus on longs <coughs> if we want to be a conservative uh, trader now uh, on the one hourly chart you already got some setups over the resistance lines one here another steep one there so everything is long and as long as the price stays over that line that comes from the one hourly but also from the four hourly in the daily chart most important only longs okay for now only longs and right now as i said it's late don't look for longs right now because uh, before the market uh, close it could be that the price retraces or you know loses volatility of course <clears throat> now the euro yen same scenario we expected after the break uh, down here short setups but that's the great thing we have our filters uh, the price gave us a setup on support which is not good to do only lower time frames for intraday trading to for instance catch in this case 40 50 pips other than that uh, if you take a look at the one hourly chart for instance here it's easier to spot you got your chance here and here to make about up to 100 pips and down here up to 80 pips even on that one hourly chart it was a win-win scenario with a 40 pip stop uh, getting these 80 but whatever happened to the last lot even if you trail it um, up here it was over and that means right now you have to start focusing on the longs again okay so next week longs again but of course we're going to uh, analyze everything in the live room remember we have still horizontal resistance there but all in all it's just long and if the highs break we can easily target again 142 in extension 145 for longs remember the main trend is long the same on gpjpy same story here if these highs break setups over here on the lower time frames like the four hourly chart we look for longs now on gpj why the problem is after that bounce price came back into this range so we have a range here and we want to make sure two false breakouts right and one here uh, we want to make sure the price actually gives us setups over here and then according to the rules um, you do your thing um, other pairs as well but let me just switch to some uh, more volatile pairs here the USD CAD traders have positions running since last year uh, some since October some since November and January uh, still long okay USD CAD moved up after the previous bounce on support here is the high 1.12 now it looks like it wants to come back this is a very important area on the four hourly chart we want to see if the price bounces on support here and moves higher as you can see we don't have higher points this was a false break double top and now the price comes back so we don't touch this pair at all until we see the price reaching the 36 the support line or the support line that comes from the daily chart down here if we don't get this uh, we are not looking for new entries the swing traders that are in here since down here seeing profits of over 600 pips uh, just wait and apply the rules okay <coughs> now some other pairs gp cad uh, traders are in here targeting 3000 pips already uh, some are long since last uh, september august and some since november and um, you see here we have the highs and the price broke the highs once it was a false break price came back below resistance but now for uh, almost the week it's fighting to stay over 1.8550 if that's happening the price can stay over here will probably move quickly to 300 pips up as long as the support line is holding we focus on longs right now no new entries we need to see the price either going up and then retracing or going back uh, to this line whatever happens we need the price 
to get back to the support before we look for anything ideally over the resistance yeah over 1.8550 this would act as support then and would be probably a powerful bounce so but we have to see uh there are other pairs as well one opportunity probably on the australian dollar new zealand dollar if you check the weekly chart it's a very 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 powerful short swing uh, um, trend now if that price moves um we have already red candle on the weekly chart we have lower lows and lower highs if that price retraces uh we have a new entry okay we had already if you draw the line of course again on the lower time frame you will have your three touches uh, in this area as well price slided on this line bounced and we still need this low low on the chart but for an entry now for swing traders even for intraday traders uh, you need that retracement you cannot jump in right now the price already moved too far so if you're not already in wait oops sorry for that retracement wherever it might uh, happen and if that if you see that okay and the price bounce on the 36 or close to it ideally you get your break you know what to do um, and then you can actually target for now the lows from January which is about 150 points away and if the low is breaking you can just uh, leave it running and follow the rules to trade your stops okay so these are the most volatile pairs right now that are on our watch list we have more but uh, it would take too long um, just focus on, on on these setups it's enough to make some good uh, trades soon there's also one reminder <coughs> I want to um, mention our complete trader program one more time because um, the clock is ticking there we have an offer where you can save 300 euros and it's a one-time payment and you never pay uh, for any live sessions again we have two to three sessions every week doing everything live okay answering questions uh, questions talking about members trades uh, helping people to to stay in trades as long as possible we, we do everything live there and if you're not already part of it let me I have the link here sorry ready for you somewhere there we go you just go to completetraderprogram.com special discount okay I, I have a link above this video um, or below it I um, have to check so you just read through that see our nice faces up here <laughs> just kidding um, look at the videos watch the videos what members do um, see what you get here and of course as I said everything is supported live and down here you see we have only 49 minutes left so uh, we already got two requests to um, uh, two times a request to extend this and we did it already once now we do it one more time but only today and in about I don't know how many hours probably end of the day today it will uh, that will be it um, and then the offer is gone okay we will take this out for sure you save 300 euros if you have any questions just send me an email okay now have a wonderful day and uh, I'll catch up with you next week also enjoy your weekend bye for now